Kay is by far the most inconsistent character on this show. We got the big episode from the Acolyte. That was pretty entertaining. But spoilers if you aren't up to date. I would watch a show just about Jackie. Not only has she been the voice of reason this entire series, nobody was putting in work like she was. That fight scene between her and May was so entertaining. Highlighted how skillful she is. And even though she was in grave danger, she kept a calm head the entire time. And never forgot the mission. Something that her constituents were not doing. That's why when Yorda's was like, yo, she got it. I was like, absolutely, Yorda. I'm glad you know. Of all the deaths that happened in this episode, this one hurt me the most. I could tell that Quimere wasn't trying to kill her either. Like, he left her. I feel like Yorda was supposed to be the big loss. But to me, this was it. Just because she was talented and entertaining, but also because she was the youngest person out there. I don't think the twist that this was Quimere was that big. There were definitely hints at this throughout the entire series. What I want to know is what is his connection to that fire and the twins? Something that I thought we were going to learn in this episode, but I'm willing to wait. Let me tell you, Manny looked good. He kept that wackiness that we've been seeing throughout the season. Like when Saul was like, why risk being shown? And he was like, my face was covered. Like I didn't think I was going to be shown. But he also sold dangerous. I love the way he was holding a lightsaber to the head like a blink because I call him a gun. That's the best part about villains. Whenever you see him use a weapon that we see heroes use, they always use it in a way that's way more creative and lethal. I think Saul has something to do with the death of that coven. I'm guessing Quimere was there too and he knows this. I want to celebrate the fact that we just watched two Asian men fight with lightsaber in a major sci-fi show. I have to applaud them for the diversity in this show and level of nuance that it brings to it. And beyond that, it's just visually more interesting to see. Like, I'm not watching any more brunette boys fight it out. Like, the humans are all from different parts of the universe and it never made sense to me that most of them are white. So I'm glad to see that they're not. The twins are by far the worst part of this episode. They both were so wishy-washy and I couldn't understand their motivation. I don't know why Osha stopped Soul from killing that man. He met him once and they barely had a connection. Now I'm not quite sure whether or not she knew if her plan would not kill him. And so all she did was piss him off. Also, she just watched that man kill multiple people. And she was like, he deserves his life. What? Who could have died from her stop? Like, there were so many things about that scene that I was like, this is a little confusing. A was definitely giving me whiplash because just a second ago, she was like, my sister is here. I love her. Everything's good. But now all of a sudden she's resisting arrest and trying to kill her sister. It just didn't make sense. But maybe seeing Quimere with his shirt off made her second guess her intentions because I know for sure it would with mine. I think at this point, we just need to know what this mystery is for us to really invest in this story and understand why people are moving in this way. Also, her impersonating Osha was a little bit off to me because I may have already said to Soul, like, if I remove my helmet, you're going to be able to read my thoughts. Why couldn't he tell it was Osha? Maybe I'll chalk it up to the game to the fact that, like, he almost died and he lost most of his team, so he wasn't focused. But if he doesn't figure it out before that little um, chipmunk, I'm going to be a little tight. And all, I thought this episode was good. There were definitely plot holes, but it entertained me so much, particularly the fight scenes. I'm a kung fu girly. I didn't take this episode too seriously, so I'm going to go ahead and give it three out of five Frankie Flames.